Well, this will be our last question. Um, and I got asked this yesterday from a girl named Emily. So she had asked when I was talking about the steps, she said, do you mind if I ask how many steps you have per day? I'm worried about future fat loss as I am not being active as I was last diet phase, different job. Um, would love if you guys were to touch on this in a podcast. And so I asked a few more questions and she said, I used to get 15K steps easy peasy because I rode horses for a living. Now I sit mostly at a desk because I'm back at school and I was working full-time job and nursing school. So getting 8K steps was a real challenge. I sw since quit my job and switched to a different job. So I'm aiming for 10K steps, which includes cardio, and trying to navigate through that. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect different fat loss. So obviously that's a lot to unpack, but what we're going to talk about is the big brick of that, of what it looks like when your activity changes and how that changes as you go into a dieting phase um, and how that's going to be different in your life. Did you, are you going to answer it? Yeah, but I felt like I just <laughs> talked for a really long time. So then I was like, I should probably she, pause. She has this question that she's been holding on to and that she's ready to answer. And then she looks over and she's like, so what you got? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, just I, like, the I felt like I was talking too long. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, so from that, I actually thought when she was first asking it before I asked for more information of what she was going to do if she was more active than she was previously. So if you went from a sedentary job to a more active job, that can be pretty difficult because now you have to be more activity to facilitate that same fat loss, so to speak. So it is something if someone's extremely sedentary and then they are um, moving to like getting more steps in, then that's a pretty easy exchange of you get to, hey, either eat more food or do less cardio because you're more active in this way. But for her of going to being very active to being more sedentary, this is something of being able to recognize that your body is in a different place. And if you've had time in the sedentary job and now you're going into a dieting phase, then it should be pretty easy, so to speak, to undulate your steps just based off of where your base line is from where you're starting. Yes, using past diets or past data can be helpful, but it's important to recognize when that data isn't going to apply directly to give you that correlation. So for her example of I was extremely active within riding horses, um, and that was last year versus she's already changed jobs and she's had a time period at this job, she probably already knows what her baseline of food is and her baseline of and at of activity is. So as she goes into a deficit, it's undulating that based on what that new baseline is instead of looking at old data and saying, well, last time I dieted, I had to get this many steps or I had to eat this much food when your situation is completely different. Yeah. I mean, the old data is just not value, like valuable at that point. You just got to um, assess where things are at, where things are from a hunger level standpoint as as well as uh, like soreness from the activity and those different factors, especially if she's going to be walking more on a treadmill, it sounded like. Mm -hmm. So within that, you're going to have a little bit of different impact on the joints and those different factors to, to be mindful of. Um, and then also energy levels could be different just because an individual who is going to be out in, in activity and those different factors is going to feel a lot different than the individual who's in a cubicle all day, for instance, and sitting at a desk, staring at a screen all day, rather than the person who's getting up and, I mean, riding horses would be quite the adrenaline rush for me because um, one, I've never done that. And that seems like, that seems serious. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like some work. So I think that, uh, you know, those factors play a role, but it, it don't overcomplicate it. It's just a matter of collecting data, assessing, and then making adjustments from there. Well, I think a good example as well is when you did your first prep, you were eating so much food because you were doing like 17 jobs and running around and doing cardio all day. And if he were to use that data for any kind of diet now, that would be null and void because he's a lot more sedentary now. And so you have to be able to look at how that applies and it doesn't apply. So now he has to use his new baseline for how active he is and use that to undulate up or down. Right. Yeah. I, I, you've got to, when you're looking at data itself, it's going to be something that is probably more relative. Like the, the lifestyle aspects have to match. 